What's up YouTube? It's Friday morning, not much wind, and I decided to get this thing connected up, which is that. Uh, I've got it connected to one battery, so effectively it's running as a 12 volt. And <clears throat> what I want to show you is if it goes over 14 volts, then you will see a little light underneath here. From the angle I've got, you should be able to see the light come on. I'm unsure about whether the meter is reading this correctly, uh, the amperage coming in. When I had it on 24 volts, it didn't seem, I only saw it go up to two amps. So I don't know what's causing that at the moment. And that's gonna be the, uh, what I have to try and find out maybe when it gets a bit windier, but I'm just hoping this goes above 14, then you can see the uh, unload light come on, which is effectively a break, there you go. same 25 watts obviously it doesn't make much power running at 12 volts uh, but if the wind isn't fast enough to get the turbine spinning to make 24 then it's completely pointless so yeah while it's while it's over 14 that red light will stay on if there's power still coming in there you go it's gone off now flickering on and off it's been on oh it's been on about 20 minutes and it's just actually I can it's not getting warm but it's not cold anymore like everything else in the shed so Right, it's getting pretty windy. Let's stick it on 24 and see if we can get anything, which just means switching the battery cable over. Give me a moment. Switching the battery cable over. Over. And then the wind dies. You see, it's so little power. I don't know if you can hear. The turbine is actually going some. Not storm style, but... So yeah, we'll leave that a few minutes and see if we can get anywhere near the 28, uh, which I think at the minute is unlikely, and then we'll see if the unload light comes on. Just not getting as much power as I'd expect. Do what I'm going to do, I'll put it on time lapse for a bit. Oh, the unload light actually came on for a short moment there. Well, it's in time lapse, that's typical. Anyway, I'll put it on back on time lapse. You might be able to see if the red light comes on anyway. Look at the voltage here. So as you can see, it doesn't seem to be doing much power-wise. Maybe it's just not windy enough. So let's swap it back over. There we go, the charge light is on. So I'll be running more tests on this stuff in the next few days. Uh, if we get a bit more wind today, I'll see what it's saying on the 24 volt. See the unload light coming on there. All right, let's swap it over again, which I know is like the kiss of death for the wind. And the wind stops. Here we go, there you go, there's the unload light, 27.95. But again, as I said, the watts being made is terrible. Right, I'll leave it on time lapse again, hopefully we'll get a bit more wind. Right, now we know that controller works, I'm going to uh, swap it over with the rectifier. So 
So now for a second you'll be able to see the voltage running free, which won't be that much. So that's connected straight to the rectifier. Uh, I want to see if it produces any more power. It's not looking good at the minute. Uh, but what I'll do, I'll get it zoomed in a bit and we'll leave it on time lapse. And we'll see what it's saying. Hopefully we'll get some nice wind. So something doesn't seem quite right, but I haven't got it fully, I haven't uh, fully adjusted the tower yet. Uh, which I'll be doing later today. Um, not sure whether the brake thing is a good idea. That cable hanging off the back. Well, it's a, definitely a good idea for when you want to do this. let go so yeah I'll be continuing the experiments get the tower all finalized and hopefully we'll get some more power but it doesn't seem like it's making as much as I would like and it's pretty cold in a bizzle <laughs> 